What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. What up, bitches? Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leilani. If you are new here, if you are not, welcome back. Today, I'll be talking about my holy grail all time beauty products of 2017, and I'm probably going to continue to use it into 2018. How excited are y'all for the new year? I am excited. I am excited. Um, do you have any resolutions? New Year's resolution? I think mine is just to be in the moment with my family. Be in the moment. And of course, lose weight. Who doesn't like to lose weight? It's the process that I don't like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. Boom. Alright, so I'm going to be going by categories. You know, so I'm going to start off, I'm going to be going by categories and I'm going to start off with the beauty sponges. My favorite that I use pretty much all year is the Morphe, Morphe um, beauty sponges. And these are really inexpensive. Whoa, really inexpensive. They were under $10. So I would definitely get on that. Moving on to face, moving on to face. For foundation, I have two foundation. I had to come down to two because I had like five and I was like, Lay Bonnie, calm down. So two, my drugstore one is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This stuff covers your sins, it covers your life, it covers your secrets. If you want them hidden, this is what you need. It was very inexpensive as well, under $10, like I was saying. This foundation is amazing. It goes on. It's a little creamy. So if you're not into creamy, it's not for you. But it is amazing. It goes on perfect. Some people don't use um, concealer with it. Me, I always do no matter what. doesn't matter what the product is. It could be a $200 foundation. And it says it could cover my eyelids. And I still will use concealer. So just saying. All right. Um, and my second one is Clinique. This one. I've actually just purchased this the last two months and I've been loving it. This color, this is the foundation I have. What I love about this is that it is versatile. You can you can make it really um, full coverage if you want or if you just want a light beat, you just t tap this on and it still looks flawless. I feel like it like really just moisturize my skin when I put it on. And I love the applicator on here. That's what I really like. This right there. I'm in love. So, that is the best. It's what I have on today. Beauty spray. Beauty spray. Beauty spray. This is like, you know, you have to have a good beauty spray or it's just like not going to work out. And I just can't imagine what life was before we had a setting spray. I don't remember. I really don't. But my favorite, this is a primer. This is the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. But it just helps my makeup stay on. It's a great primer. I feel like I hate when I have to rub things into my face just because I feel like I'm putting all these germs all over them. And so this really works for me as a primer. And I feel like it does. It's oil absorbing. So hello is my shiznits. All right. So the other one, I just recently purchased this, but... My husband actually recently just purchased this and this is the Caudalie and look how much I've used this stuff. Expensive, Expensive. Mary. So yeah, uh, it is a smoothing glowing complexion and I actually feel like this is helping my skin a lot. So I put it as well. I put it on as well as the Urban Decay or some days I just don't even when I don't wear makeup, I just spray this on and it just attaches to my face and I feel like it's doing something like it just has a tingly feeling, not a bad feeling, but I feel like it's doing something. It makes my face feel good. It, it, it's not heavy and I can hardly feel it, feel it and I love the mist on here like... It's just very fine. I love it. It's the best. I highly recommend it. It's just expensive. I love, I love products. I love products. The one and only, the one I only, only use is the Dip Brow Pomade by Dark Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my shit. I've always used this. This is actually my second one this year that I've used. And I'm almost done. I love this stuff. I can't go wrong. I... 
feel like I need to branch out and use other ones, but I just can't bring myself to do it. So I feel like it's not going to change for 2018, but it might. I sometimes do try and use the NYX, the NYX HD Micro Pencil, but it's just like, I hate using a pencil. I feel like I don't get too precise like I do when I use a angled brush and this stuff. So, I don't know. This is my shiznit as well. And for eyebrows, I love, 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 love to set my eyebrows with the Broad Gal by Tanya Brooks. This stuff is amazing. I only started using this was because my the first one I got was in my BoxyCharm. And I was like, oh, yes. So then I ended up getting it. And I love it. It really just, it makes my eyebrows stay in place. Some people don't like it because they feel, they say like it makes it hard. But I mean, what that is a bra gel. It's supposed to keep your hair together in place so you don't look sa like Sasquatch, you know? Just saying. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Moving on. Okay, for mascara, I have three, I know. So I have high end and. So the three, close it. For mascara, I have three and it is this three. It is the, sorry, it is this three. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is the L'Oreal Primer and Voluminous Lash Paradise. These two together are amazing. I love these, this two combination. This is what I have on right now. They just make my lashes like beautiful and uh it makes it look like i have eyelashes so yeah that's amazing <laughs> cool and they don't make it like all clumpy together they they're just like like that they're just pretty okay it's just very very pretty um and then the Too Faced better than sex i hardly been using this but i know every time i do use it i always be like oh, why haven't i used it so this stuff it gives you volume and it gives you like length and it's the bomb i love it i love it i love it i don't love the waterproof one as much because i feel like the formula is really different it doesn't go on my eyelashes as pretty okay this one pretty this is my my shit needs so for bronzer and contour bronzer i always go to my NW45 Studio Fix. I bronze this every time or I would use a contour palette. But other than that, this is what I use. I'm not going to open it because I just broke it. And yeah, it just looks like that. So I need to get a new one. Yeah. There's not really much to say about bronzer other than it bronzes me and it makes me look bronze. Like a bronze goddess. And then for... Um, contour and highlight. This is what I've been using. This is the, this is what I love. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. It just has all the selection. What I love about this is that it has all these selections. And this is like sometimes my summer color or I would mix these two or mix this and this and it's my summer color. You know, it just, it just does what it's supposed to do. And then this right here is what I love. This is my, um, like my powder that I would set my face in. This is what I would use. It's just very versatile for me. I love it. I would, I use it every day or every time I do wear makeup. Bam, 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 bam thank you, ma'am. Ma For blush. Blush, 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 blush. For blush, my holy grail is the Morphe 9B palette. Honestly, you guys, if I didn't have this, I'd probably be using other stuff. But I always gravitate to this and I use it a lot. The ones that I do use the most is this one. This one right here and this one or this one. I, you know, whatever day it is, this is my favorite palette. It is, this is my favorite blush palette. I always reach for this no matter what. No matter what. Look how pretty it is. And it, it's such a selection. I just love stuff that come in bundles because I just have a selection. I can't commit. So therefore, if I commit, at least I'm committing to this palette with all these colors. You know what I mean? And then for blush, um, my drugstore favorite, OG. This is the Milani. This is the Milani Luminoso. This stuff is beautiful and I love how it looks on me in the winter. Sometimes in the summer I can pull it off, but I get really dark in the summer and it just looks like I have 
highlighted orange cheeks and that's not cute some days okay but yeah this stuff is amazing who turned me on to this was um nikki tutorials and y'all know how she was like a die hard this is so pretty i love it okay sorry for concealer these are my two favorites it is the this is the tarte shape tape in tan and color pop no filter concealer in tan in tan so these two this one especially it just conceals everything everything i love it everyone knows what's up with this it's the shit color pop come on now it's inexpensive number one and it, i don't feel like it has as much coverage as the tarte shape tape but if there are days where I don't want like full coverage, which is very hard, it's hardly. If there are days that I don't want full coverage or I just want a spot conceal, this is what I use. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's amazing. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about highlighters. And I have four because I just could not bring myself to not talk about all four of these. I, You guys are lucky. I had like 17. So the first one is the Laura Geller. This is the Laura Geller in Gilded Honey. You guys, this is an OG go-to. There's nothing I can say about it other than it just glows everything, and I love it. It's it's amazing. What is there not to love about this? And I feel like it's versatile. Complexion, I just feel like it just does everything it's supposed to do. Um, and I love, 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 love. The next one is the Elf Bake Concealer. Some people say it is a dupe for it, but it's not in my eyes because the Gilded Honey, which is what I'm going to swatch right now. Okay. The Gilded Honey highlights is very golden. Very, very golden. I light, I think it has more pearl. It's more pearly. See, you can already tell the difference. The difference on my hand. So these, so two, these two together, together fire. fire. These two, these separate, two separate, fire. fire. But I love it. This is the uh, Gilded Honey just has a nice sheen to it. It's very golden for my skin complexion. And this one, I just put it on the highest points of my cheeks and it just flawless. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip in her glow kit. And I mean, come on. What do you want me to say about this? what do you want me to say about this other than hello look at the colors i don't really use this one i use these three the most and it's just it's, it's me i'm the glow queen when i wear these okay come on last but not least in my favorite palette palettes and i had to pick four and that's what i'm going with so don't judge me so the first palette don't mind it's really dirty is the jaclyn hill palette I had to tell myself every day not to use it. They're so pigmented, they're so buttery, and it's so expensive. And I can use this shit every day. Um, and this is what I have my eyes today. They're just so buttery and easy to freaking work with. I'm telling you. All right, the next one is the Modern Renaissance palette. I know it's really dirty. It's very well loved. I love it. It has all the colors that I love. This is like my sequence right here. And it has everything. You know, you have your transitions. Or you have your day makeup. Then you can go into a little bit more dramatic. And then you can just add a smoky. Like, it just has everything that I need. And I love it. And the next one is the Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty. And this one I just recently got in the last couple months, but I can't complain. Look at this packaging, you guys. And the colors in here are even more beautiful. Now, I have a thing for um, these, colors, these color schemes. I have a thing for, you know, I love it. And I just feel like these this palette is so beautiful everything is pigmented as well and they're easy to work with the only problem i have is with this color and if you watch my previous tutorial one of my previous tutorial i had to put um, glitter glue down or what did i use um eyelash glue down and but it it worked perfect it, it was beautiful these colors these 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 are 
amazing. I would definitely try and get my hands on it, but it is a little pricey. This is my Makeup Geek palette. This palette, it's so pigmented. Let me just show you. Let me just show you, okay? Now this color, what color is this? Hold on. This is called Voltage. This is called Voltage right here, okay? Let me just... And then this is my favorite gold in the palette. Oh, oh my gosh. Come on. And this is my favorite blue-brown. Okay. Okay. And then this is my favorite. This is Morocco, I'm pretty sure. And look. You guys, like this. Come on now. Come on now. And if you... Oh, you gotta swatch it. Okay. Well, let's swatch it. Um, can we please have a little bit of courtesy of how beautiful this is? Can we just, come on now, come on now. Now, I love it, 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 I love it. All right, and last but not least, we're going to be talking about lips. Lips, 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 lips. Favorite is the Fenty Beauty Uncensored Stunna Lip Paints in Uncensored. Um, this stuff is great let me just tell you the applicator on here is very different is my um cupid's bow and under here it just makes it so much easier for me to apply lipstick and it's just literally one swipe it's so pigmented i love it <sighs> it's my i love sarai um ultra matte lip in arriba this is my other go-to red as well. I can't pick between both of them um, because they are both beautiful. They're very similar but different in their own ways. So I love this one. I will be repurchasing like five more because I love red. My next one is from the same the same I Love Sarai collection and it is in um, Mamacita Curvy and 951. 951 is an ultra satin lip. Um, Curvy is a ultra gloss lip and Mamacita is just a nice deep, deep wine color. Um, and I love them both. I love them all. Very inexpensive. She did such a great job with this collection and I can't, I love the, the, the gold details as well. I'm just going to go and swipe it for you, do a swatch for y'all so you can see how beautiful it is. So there it is. There's 951 Curvy and Mamacita. So beautiful. All right, guys. So that is it for my Holy Grail favorites for 2017. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I will be uploading this hopefully today, which is Tuesday. If not, it'll be tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, I'll also be uploading on Thursday. I try to upload at least twice a week twice a week and tuesday and thursdays thursday i'll be doing my new year's look but thank you guys so much for joining me i really 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 appreciate beast go ahead and like and subscribe comment below i'll go ahead and comment back thank you guys happy new year's